hi you are welcome back to my channel ICT made easy so earlier I did web authoring of this paper and that's uh, May June uh, 2021 paper 33 so now I will be continuing with the data analysis which is the spreadsheet now the first thing the question is asking you to do here is um, you are going to use a spreadsheet to calculate the sales price of underwater cameras all currency values must be in pounds to two decimal places so don't forget this point pounds then two decimal places open and examine the file j2132 camera.csv and this one as well in the spreadsheet package now let's look at those two two files um the first one i have it i downloaded them earlier uh, okay this is the first file and this is the second file and perhaps i think maybe you are going to use all these three files so let me open the first one and see how it looks like okay then after i've opened the files what's the next thing i have to do the question said that these files will be used to provide data for your spreadsheet and must not be changed okay now open and examine the file this in your in, uh, in your spreadsheet i've already opened all the three files now then place the text ppa by so sales i need to place the text ppa by followed by space okay where is that okay this one they want me to add something in the header i need to click on insert then you click on text then you will see header so they never say maybe i should put it in the right or in the left or so let me look at the question again so open and examine the file in your spread. please the text this one so i can just place it anywhere then follow by space then your name this space then my name my name then center number candidate number send that center number then candidate number center number candidate number right aligned in the header wow <laughs> not in the center by the way okay let me just copy this no worries i thought the question never specified where we should put it so let me just copy this and put it in the right okay okay this is the right aligned in the header then data has been placed in cell B. okay before we continue let me just go back to normal view you click on view then you click on normal okay now this one says data has been placed into cells b4 and b9 for you to help you test b4 this is b this is b4 then this is b9 b4 and b9 okay then save this spreadsheet with the file name this one followed by your center number then followed by your candidates number so let me copy this then we have to save it in the format of the software you are using right so click on file save as then you give it this name don't forget this one is csv file i have to change it to the format of the software i'm using then underscore my center number then underscore my candidate's number so i save it now now the next question says format the spreadsheet to look like this wow well the first thing is look at a and b cell column a and b then row one until 17 so a and b only so just click here then double click so that everything can be visible so all what they want to see here is cell a and b only a and b then until 17 a and b until 17 then you click on home then you need to show the border that's that's the first thing to do here then the second thing the root in cell a or in the row number one 
the road underwater macro photography underwater macro photography then they make it quite big very big then it is good then if you look at it you will see that underwater macro they are on top while photography is below so then you need to click on wrap text but the wrap text you are clicking here you have to make sure these two are on on top then you click here good but perhaps maybe this one is too big okay then you put in the center does it look their own yeah it's a little bit looks like their own let's continue for now then um cell a and b they merge it together okay sorry for this one a and b is being matched together good for this purpose which means this one there is no even need of expanding this so much on the water like this okay this is not bad let's continue then what other thing you see the color background color this gray right then uh you need to they expand this one very well okay then they expand cell a and b they are of almost the same size okay something like this and you see cell a you see cell b they are almost of the same size then what or cell b is even wider than cell a cell b is wider than cell a then what other thing okay look at two you need to drag this one you drag it here from the cell then what other thing look at cell c camera they match it then they center the body then they increase the font then they use this background i think this is too much maybe something like this okay that's oh one two three oh four okay everything here is right aligned everything here is right aligned good then oh four code the road c004 make a model then price then look at seven so they do it like this okay all right price so it looks like this then eight housing they match it as well housing it is matched then bulge but have the same size 22 the same size of this 22 then the same background color um then 9 10 9 code h 10 then 11 12 let's see 11 and 12 so they bring this one underneath okay excellent okay like this then 13 package again 13 is package merged bold 22 then background it doesn't matter it should be 22 or whatever any size since they are not specified just do something uh, anything that makes sense that looks like what they have done then 13 14 15 16 it's okay then 17 the boot 17 it is boot is that all um yes i think i have what they have and you can check this one later if there's anything you need to play around here 
this is around seven marks it doesn't worth losing so just make sure you pay attention to this now format the matched cell a1 to b1 a1 to b1 we've already done that then to contain black 36 oh they even specify the size it needs to be 36 then if it is 36 you see it doesn't look like their own which means i have to expand this one more i need to expand it more okay you see now 36 point text on a pale blue background pale blue background <laughs> their own is is blue background i didn't use blue i think i have to use pale blue background something like this Well, it looks like eh, is this pale blue background sorry sorry i think like this yeah pale blue background then according to the question why about this format the matched cells a3 uh, a3 to b3 then a8 to b8 and a13 to b13 we've done that to contain ending points okay which means this one supposed to be 18 instead of 22 that we use this should be 18 as well and this should be 18 as well then next contain 18 point text on a pale blue background as well okay i see this one the same background this this and this now the next one now this one say enter a function so in cell b5 which depends on the camera code uh, on the camera code cell b5 let's look at that cell b5 we need to enter a formula here in cell b5 and that formula it actually depends on camera code on this code whatever we write in the code we determine what the model is going to be okay what formula do we need to write there on the look up the make a model of the camera from the file camera okay so let's look at this file camera this file we have a lot of code here so it depends on what code we type that the model will be so if we type c009 then the model will be done on power shot g7x all right so how do we do that well quite easy let's come back here we need to use the vlookup function we say equal v lookup v lookup mm -hmm. what are we looking up we are looking up this value that's the lookup value anything we type here comma where is the table we want to look up we need to go to this camera please come to this table oh, sorry we highlighted only the data you come here i want you to look up from c001 until c003 then what should i look up you look up the second column you see column index number the second column if i type c001 look up for the model for me if i type c006 look up for the model for me if i type c015 look up for the model for me that's what it means so that's column two then you look up the exact information and that will be false press enter wow you see that's c00 if i type c015 it look up for the model for me so let me leave it at c004 okay now we've done that and <laughs> this guy is simple and that's five marks you see then enter a function in cell b6 in best cell b6 we need to type a function here as well then what function going to do which depends on the camera code as well it look up the price this time earlier it look up the model right they make a model this time is going to look up the price so the same idea we come here you say equal v lookup 
VLOOKUP this is the function we always use don't forget VLOOKUP what are we looking up we are looking up the the camera code so then you go to this place yeah. you know earlier I highlighted only this right because the model that I'm looking for is actually in the column 2 but this time I need to highlight everything because I'm looking for the price and the price is in column 4 that's why I need to highlight everything I highlight everything where is the uh-huh my answer is actually in column look at it one two three four so my answer is in column d which is column four then i want you to look up for the exact value press ok uh, why is it none from let me look at it again oh sorry i supposed to highlight it from from two by the way from here okay okay let me quickly do it again this is the value i'm looking of b4 then i have to go here camera then i highlight from here not from here from here okay then what i'm looking for is four and it should be false press enter oh then why is the v oh the formula is <laughs> v look up i type v look up sorry sorry v look up press enter then it's correct now can you see so if i type c 015 here it's going to bring the price for me it will look up for the model and it will bring the price for me as well so make sure you take your time to do the correct thing now the next question that's one mark then the next one says enter a function in cell b10 this time let's look at b10 where's b10 here b10 we need to type a function here in cell b10 which depends on the housing code it depends on the housing code look up the make a model of the housing the same idea of the housing code so which means b town we say equal v lookup v lookup we open the function and you close it then what what is the v lookup value v lookup value housing code comma so we need to go to the housing table you know we use camera earlier right then this time we are using the housing oh. so i need to highlight everything here it's looking for the price for me highlight everything here so the answer that i'm looking for is one two three four five is in column five because it's the price then it's going to be false press enter it will look up for the price for me now oh sorry it's for the model then in that case where is the model here it's column 3 model is in column 3 so it's okay not uh, where's that formula here instead of type the answer is 5 the answer is the column 3 press enter it will look up for the model for me now um the next one says enter a function in cell b11 which depends on the housing code look up the price for you so this time it's going to look up for the price you know what you can just copy this let me teach you a very short way of doing it just paste copy and paste then let us edit let us edit this from that so it depends on b10 where is b10 no 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 it depends on this one b9 housing code then it's going to check this table then it will look for the price for you which is column 5 and you press enter that's all and if you if you don't get it of course you can just write it the way we used to write v look up and all those things now the next one says enter in b11 done 
then enter a formula in cell B14 to calculate the price of both camera and housing. Quite easy. Camera and housing. In cell, sorry, cell B what? B14. B14, you say equal camera and housing. Where is the camera? The price for the camera here plus the price for the housing here. Then press enter. This one is quite simple. <laughs> Alright. Now, the next one says enter a formula in cell B15 to show the discount percentage that will be applied. Use the package price to extract the figure from the discount table. We need to use if function here. That's why it is 5 marks. If function here, that's why it's 5 marks. So enter a formula in cell B15. Okay. So to show the discount percentage that will be applied, use the package price to extract the figure from the discount table where is the discount table here look at it so discount table cost and percentage so package price is if it if less than 15 so if the cost less than 15 then no 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 discount if less than 800 four percent discount anything within 1100 six percent anything greater than or equal to 1100 then that would be 10 percent so where do we need to write okay here in b15 is that correct b15 so we need to use if this is what we call nested if i really wish you will get it when we say if if what if the total price if the total price is less than if the total price is less than 500 comma what will happen then the discount will be zero I believe you can get that price package price is less than 500 then the discount is zero simple if it is less than 500 the discount is zero now comma you put another if if this total price where is it that b14 if the total price this b14 is less than 800 what will happen the percentage will be four percent you can write your four percent like this or you can write 0 0.04 it's still the same thing comma if b14 is less than 1100 then what will happen um, then it will be six percent otherwise because it's the last one we don't need to put for the last one we don't need to put another if okay you just say otherwise it's going to be ten percent simple then you need to close all the if the first bracket is for the first if the second bracket for the second if the third bracket for the third if I really wish you get this <laughs> well, well uh, it's quite simple by the way so because they even make it quite uh, straightforward here but for your information I have another video as well on this spreadsheet so I dedicate it for if function and VLOOKUP so try to watch them so just check uh, my channel then you will see uh, spreadsheet videos then try to watch them press enter you will see this one is zero because this one less than uh, because it's less than 800 and in as much as it's less than 800 then definitely so um, it's going to be um, 0 0.04 okay let's continue so the question says yeah that's five marks right 
Then enter a formula in cell B16 to calculate the discount amount to be applied, which is package price multiplied by discount percentage. Package price multiplied by discount percentage in B16. Discount amount will be package price, this one, multiplied by a discount. Then you press enter. Simple. So this discount will be 29 point something euro. You remember the question says we should use euro, right? So we are going to do that later. <coughs> then uh, enter a formula in B16. We've done that. Now enter a formula in B17 to subtract to subtract <laughs> subtract. Sorry, subtract the discount amount from the package price. Discount amount. So you just say this one equal. What is the package price? Anything you have in this place, right? Hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anything you have in this place, right? That's the package price minus the amount you have here so this is the total money this person is going to buy or is going to pay then the next one the next question says um the user so enter a code for the camera and a code for the housing okay enter a formula in a19 to display an appropriate error message if the camera code for the housing does not match the code for the camera entered by the user what we, the camera code that we have here if it, do, it it does not equal to then we need to use the vlookup here what is the value we are looking up for this one the housing code then uh, we need to go to the housing table then we highlight these two because in the two we have the housing code and ca camera code can you see in column one this housing code this ca camera code so we need to highlight this two so this is what they are saying if the housing code if the camera code it does not equal to housing code camera code does not equal to housing code so the value we are looking for here is the camera code right which is column two then we are looking for the exact value which is false so if this does not equal to this then what is the true statement we have to say sorry um uh this this does not match otherwise you shouldn't show anything if it is correct then there's no need to show anything so then you press enter you see because it's correct it doesn't show anything okay then the next question says uh, apply okay we've done this then apply appropriate formatting to to column b of the spreadsheet apply appropriate formatting to column b of the spreadsheet so what is the appro appropriate formatting to column b of the spreadsheet here column b which means all these are okay but this one is money right oh sorry i think this one's supposed to be let's say c004 so to have the correct value or, or h i think it was h something right yeah so this 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 and this all of them they're supposed to be in here or uh, in pounds i think the question say pounds right uh, just click on more formatting then you can look for pounds letter p where is this somewhere here yeah so it's already here now then this one's supposed to be percentage we can show this one in pass instead of 0 0.04 we can show it in percentage then is there anything they want us to do here i think that's all and then the last part of this apply we've done that then save your spreadsheet print your spreadsheet showing the formula then row our column heading at display so if you want to show the formula so just as simple as clicking on formula then you click on show formula all right so then you press ctrl p then you come here page setup 
sheet and you can show the row and uh, row and column headings press ok it looks like this and you can just show in portrait and I believe that's all and perhaps maybe you want to show everything on a single page yeah this one show all your formula by the way but if it doesn't show uh, everything if everything is not visible you can sh just show everything on a single page so which doesn't this one doesn't look nice perhaps it's because of the text you have here since you won't be using this just highlight this only highlight this one because this is what the examiner want to see by the way then ctrl p again then you can click here so print selection only the one that you select so then perhaps uh, on a single page okay so that everything is fully visible and you can print it out then after that the question says print your spreadsheet showing the value as well so then you have to come back here you click on formula then on click this then you need to print it again you need to show the formula now you need to show the value sorry so then this time is going to be portrait then you can show everything on a single page just select this one and you show everything on a single page then uh, that's all the model this spreadsheet for a customer who wishes to buy camera c013 and use it with housing h025 so which means you need to change the data here c015 c015 okay then h025 you say for this customer is going to pay this amount then you have to print out this so print it out and that's all and you can claim your 34 marks so thank you for watching this video so bye and don't forget to subscribe to this channel textbook is boring right do you believe it's too voluminous containing a lot of information even if you read it 1 million times you might still not be able to answer a gcse questions correctly we have a solution for you we have created all-in-one IGCSE summary slides for each chapter. It covers the whole curriculum. We presented in a concise manner all you need to be an A-star student. The slide is well prepared by an ICD Cambridge examiner. After each topic, we provide IGCSE related questions with answers. Download now. www.highsateam80z.com